Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, number of ways to earn points. The problem states that there are there's a test which contains n type of questions and you are given an integer target. Now, you are also given all the types of questions where each type denotes two things, count i and mark i, where count i is the total number of questions of the ith type and mark i denotes the number of points that you will get after you have solved one question of this type right now you need to return the number of ways in which you can exactly earn target points in the exam and the number of ways can be very huge so you have to return it modulus 10 to the power 9 plus 7 right one more thing is given that the question of same type are indistinguishable right so what the what this means is uh, if there are three questions of the same type then solving first and second or solving first and third or second and third all are exactly similar right so i would like if you haven't uh, thought about this condition uh, till now and you have solved the entire question i would strongly encourage you to think about the solution in which this constraint is not there you will actually see how the problem like how the number of ways changes in a completely different way if this condition would not have been there right so try the exercise for those who haven't solved it yet uh, just try to solve try to look at the solution for this problem first and then after you have watched this video you can give give this a try as an exercise right so let's take an example let's say there are three question three types of question uh, first type you have six questions of first type and if you have solved one problem of first type you will get one point similarly there are three questions of second type and solving each question here would give you two points and similarly there are two questions of third type and solving each of them would give you three points now what they are saying is there are total seven different ways in which you can achieve a target of six points uh, one of the ways is if you solve four questions of zeroth type and one question of the first type so what they're saying is if you solve four questions from here what you will get you will get four points because each question was worth one point and if you solve one question from here you will get two points so total four plus two six so you have achieved six target by solving four question of zeroth type and one question of the first type so this is one of the ways Sim similar to this there are six different other ways and hence the answer is seven right now how to solve this if you haven't give this a try yet, I would again encourage you to pause the video and think of it recurs in, in the recursion manner because this problem is exactly similar to a lot of different problems that we have already solved in this channel. I will link the playlist in the description down below and in the eye icon in the top right. You can uh, check out the playlist there we have solved this kind of problem, many, many problems of this kind uh, in this channel. So how to solve this particular problem so we are we are saying that we want to achieve target of seven with these three questions right so now let's just focus on the first question so there are six question of first kind right now what exactly you can do you can either solve one question like you you decide you can decide not to solve anything from here Right? that is one possible choice or you decide okay I will solve one question of first kind I've, or I will solve two questions or I will solve three questions and so on and so forth right so you have all those different choices right now let's say you fixed this let's say you are saying that okay I will solve two questions of first kind right now once you have said this then you are saying that okay from this remaining array tell me the number of ways in which I can achieve a target of five points because by solving two questions you already gained two points now you want a target of seven so you need five more points from this remaining set of questions right so this problem is exactly similar to the original problem that we were trying to solve so original problem was tell me number of ways in which I can get seven points from this elements right now you are saying that okay tell me number of ways in which I can get five points from this remaining elements so both the, hope you can see the recursion here now let's try to write out the recursive formula so there will be two parameters to this recursion one is the index 
and second is the target. Now why two parameters? So notice that what we are saying is give me the number of ways in which I can get five points from this remaining array. Right? Now the point is something we are trying to capture which is captured through T. Now we also want to capture that give me the like we have to make this point from this remaining array. Now this remaining array is something which by design we have we know that it will be a suffix right so it will start with some i that is by design right so basically every every suffix like where, let's say you you also to, took care of this so then the remaining array would be this part so this is also a suffix so here the value of i would be 2 right so hope you hope you get this for, get this part we have why we have taken two uh, things here first thing would capture the remaining array semantic and second thing would capture the target left. Now let's say i is this, right? So if i is this, we have two questions of this kind, right? So we have three different choices. Either we don't solve any, either we don't solve anything of this kind, or we solve one question of this kind, or we solve two questions of this kind, right? So if you don't solve anything, what will be the state that you will say that okay? Now tell me number of ways that I can achieve target points from the remaining array and the remaining array would start from i plus 1. Similarly you will say okay if you have solved one question you will say okay I tell me number of ways in which I can get a target of t minus 3 from the remaining array. Now why t minus 3 because you have solved one question here and each question worth 3 points. You already got 3 points from here. Similarly if you have solved two points uh, two questions of this kind you will say okay from the remaining array give me the number of ways in which I can achieve t minus 6 points right so you will like notice that each of these ways are valid right so you will your final answer would be the summation of all these three right now let's try to just uh, read see the pseudo code uh, pseudo code is exactly similar to this uh, to what we discussed here we have two things index and target right and uh, these are some base conditions. If target is less than zero, we know that we will not be able to m achieve it because every it is given that every question will give you some positive marks. So marks is always positive. So if target is less than zero, we can't achieve it. We know that. Now if target is zero, uh, it means we have already achieved it. So this would be written one that there is one way to achieve this, right? Otherwise, uh, we have to make like we have to make some decision for this ith question so we will say okay i will try all possible choices for this ith question so all possible choices as in i will solve zero questions of this kind or i will solve one question two question all the way up to the number of questions of this kind exist and for each of them i will just add it to my uh, result like for each of them i will ask that okay what is the number of ways to get the remaining target and I will add that to my result, right? So hope this uh, pseudocode makes sense. Now what is the time complexity? Firstly, how many different unique ways are there in which you can call this function? So the num unique number of unique uh, values of this index would be n, right? Where is the size of the array or the type number of types of the question and the value of unique target. Let's say this is the max target is t. So there are total t values 1 2 3 4 all the way up to t so there are total n into t ways to call this function right now for each of these ways we are doing some constant operations here and after that we are iterating over the total types of that question so this would be like total count of a single question that can exist right so this is the final time complexity. So here in this problem n is 50, right? The count of each question is again 50 and target is 1000. So 1000 into 50 into 50, which will pass the time complexity and hence this solution would work after memorization, right? So again, I strongly encourage you to pause the video right away and try to code it yourself before jumping and seeing my solution. So let's look at the solution. The solution is exactly similar to the pseudocode that we have written. So we just uh, initialize after the dp vector 
to make sure that we haven't we are not calculating same state again and again so whenever we get a state we apply some base conditions after that we will say okay uh, whether I have calculated this state before if I have I will simply return the answer from here otherwise I will calculate the answer by just trying out every possibilities of uh, the current type of question and after this I will return the answer right so hope this entire solution makes sense if you are interested in this problem please post them in the comment section below I would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one thank you